everyone, this is Tiberius Zeno back in the yellow shirt and the uh, whale in Yutani. I haven't worn this in a while because it's been working and all that good stuff. Too lazy to put it on. It's like the, it's like the YouTube video uniform. Anyways, uh, put the knife down. Put the knife down. That would be a good idea. <laughs> um, today we're going to do an unboxing of the Hot Toys Star Wars MMS 316 SW7 Fossil. It says Fossil, but it's First Order Stormtrooper Squad Leader. Yeah! <laughs> More Stormtroopers. I can't get enough of these things. There we go. Hopefully this has a Sideshow Exclusive sticker on it. Because I've gotten a few that are supposed to have it on there, and they didn't. Well, maybe, maybe the one. Maybe, okay, there we go. It's on there. Good. But mainly the um, Star Spangled Cap. That pissed me off. <laughs> that was my first Hot Toys figure and it didn't have the exclusive sticker on there. It made me so mad. Okay. Here we go. Get rid of that. Alright, as you can see, there is the squad leader. And this is the one with the white pauldron. Um, the officer is the one with the red pauldron. And the sergeant is the one with the black pauldron. Sergeant is not available for pre-order yet, but the officer is. I don't have him locked in or anything like that, but probably we'll get him when he comes out. It'll be a couple more months before he gets here in the States, but as you can see, looks like White Pauldron. There he is in the front of the box. Sideshow exclusive sticker. All right. Let's go ahead and take this open. Just want to apologize that I haven't done the, uh, the reviews for Princess Leia and the Sand Trooper yet, uh, mainly because I've been so busy. <laughs> But uh, if I'm off tomorrow, which I think I'm going to be, I haven't got my schedule yet. But if I'm off tomorrow, I'm definitely going to do reviews for all three of these. So there is the um, inner flap. Very similar to the other ones, except for, you know, has the pauldron on. Yay. <laughs> all right. And move the box to the side. Take this open. I don't think we need to read the instructions on this one because we've already handled two of these guys. This is basically just the same figure as the normal trooper, but with a uh, pauldron on it. So, let's just make sure. They probably got something in here about the pauldron. Alright, the instructions. Uh, let me flip the viewfinder around so I can see and make sure it's, it's all on screen. Uh, Alright, just tells you about the magnets in there. We all know about that. Tells you about the 20 degree bend that doesn't work. <laughs> I mean, it works, but it never stays because it's just the way the foot's made. Uh, yeah, don't remove the pauldron, don't remove the belt. Uh, don't pull off the indicated neck piece. Alright, so don't don't remove any shit. Even though you can do it, um, I've seen a whole video where somebody does a modification when they take off the undersuit in here, and he gives it a hell of a lot more, well, yeah, I don't say a hell of a lot more articulation. Whoa! That lightning! <laughs> Oh, I hope that got, that got caught on camera. What popped? So something popped. That was... Oh! Alright, let's hurry with this unboxing, shall we? <laughs> oh, my damn. <laughs> Woo! That was scary. Alright. <laughs> Woo! Oh. Okay. <laughs> ah, let's see some armor pieces are removed. Damn, that was fucking freaky. Alright, um... Come on. There we go. So I hate that they tape the plastic on there. There's no, there's no reason to tape the plastic on here. Oh, that's upside down, idiot. Alright. Alright, just take the foot off there. Shit, not well. Ugh. You scared, Kicker? Kicker got scared. He had to come in here and see me. When it's storms, he, he has to come sit beside me because he can't stand storms. Poor baby. Alright. I'm going to pop that back on. And the last plastic piece is the one where it's like, hey, yeah, don't remove the belt. But then we got this plastic piece that's right up under the belt. So it's kind of like you need to remove it. But <laughs> whatever. <laughs> Alright. You know, the plastic out of the way. As you see, this is just the standard trooper figure, but with a white pauldron. So, if you love the trooper figures like I do, 
and you plan to get a bunch of them, like I do. Uh, actually, I'm gonna have to get out the stand. Don't fall over, don't fall over. There we go. <laughs> There's really nothing new with this figure, except for the pauldron. So if you've got a standard trooper figure, and you're good with that standard trooper figure, let me not even going into the Whoa, there we go. <laughs> this is why I always put my Hot Toys figures on the stands. And I usually grab the stands first. Let's angle down so you can see me put it on. Eh. Alright, that went on just fine. Alright, there we go. And yeah, looks like the articulation, really it's just the same as the standard trooper. Yeah, well that's... Did they replace that with cloth? That feels, that feels looser than the, the normal one. That's a good thing. Oh, more loose. Oh, see, look at that. See, look, you can get some good range of motion out of these guys. Especially in the arms. Just, you can't be scared of the elbows. Like I said, I, I did a whole video about the rubber. Um, how to hold on with these guys. I held the two that I have in a pose for over a month, and they were just fine, so. I'm not even going to pull the shit out of the box. I'm just going to show it to you. Because we've all seen it before. <laughs> Hand pegs. You get the open hand, fists, trigger fingers, and the two guns. I, like, this is just the same figure as the standard trooper, except for it has a pauldron. So, that's pretty much how the review is going to go, too. But <laughs> that's like the easiest review I've ever done. But yeah, that's, uh, that is the squad leader. And, like, even the, in the base, it just says uh, First Order Stormtrooper. Doesn't say squad leader on the base whatsoever. Slightly disappointing. But oh, what are you gonna do, right? <laughs> yeah, I um, I love these first order trooper figures. I really, really highly recommend them. Like I said, now I could even just count this as my review, but I'm not going to. I'm gonna do an actual full fledged review because this, that's what I'm gonna do. <laughs> but yeah, I'll just tell you right now. Uh, if you're apprehensive about the rubber, don't be so apprehensive about it. It's fine. If you just take rubber care of it, you'll be, you'll be all right. And, well, again, the articulation is weak on these guys, but hey, there is a fix out there, but you're going to have to take your tr your figure apart to do it, so that's all up to you, but they look fantastic. And I'm going to get enough poses to please me, so that's all that matters to me, so we're good. <laughs> Anyways, I've been to be for Click Fanks Entertainment. If you have questions, leave in the comments down below. This is now my third First Order Trooper figure, uh, with at least one more on order. No, two more on order. I got two more on order. Yeah. And I plan to get many more. <laughs> Let me know in the comments down below if you have this figure. Let me know in the comments down below if you're thinking about getting this guy. I would still say, oh, I don't know. I kind of like this pauldron more than just the standard figure. I still think the, the weakest one that I have is the heavy gunner. But um, mainly because his, his uh, articulation is even more limited and the gun is just unwieldy. He can't hold the, the mega blaster. But, yeah, I'm going to get this guy posted up in there with the rest of my stuff. And uh, if I'm off tomorrow, I'll do a review for this guy, Princess Leia, and the Sand Trooper. So, yeah, that's going to be it for this video. If you have a question, comment, comments in the comments down below, and I'll see you in the next video.